Hey friends, Peggy Hall back with you from the healthyamerican.org. Last week, I did a video called More Good News Coming Out of Florida. I'm going to give you a screen share of that in just a moment. I made an offhanded comment about how I'm concerned when people say, don't California my Texas, don't California my Oklahoma, don't California my Florida. Those are the ones that I hear about a lot. And what was interesting was your comments about my comment. And I realized that I had to dig into this a little deeper. So we're going to be talking about that. And I will let you know that I am creating a t-shirt that says, don't California my California. Let's uh, talk about that in just one moment. This is a sponsored show. So give me just a moment here as I hop on over to ketowithpeggy.com. This is a product that I use, I take, I hope that you will as well. And there is a new study that reveals a shocking number of Americans are trying to lose weight. And that number may surprise you. It's around 52% of Americans who are struggling to support healthy weight management. And this is why I highly recommend taking this amazing keto powder. It's designed designed to help with your healthy weight management, elevate your energy, increase mental focus, and improve your overall wellness. It works by helping to increase the ketone levels inside the body, which in turn can support your weight management goals by way of promoting healthy appetite management, and a healthy metabolism. So try it today by going to ketowithpeggy.com. And you can use my link in the description box below. You can get up to 51% off today. And you can also receive several free bonuses with every purchase. So ketowithpeggy.com. All right, friends, I did a video last week and let's hop right on over there. It is called More Good News Out of Florida. I brought a few videos. I brought a couple of videos with a few good headlines here coming out of Florida. And this is it, More Good News Out of Florida. What I thought was interesting were your comments. And I love when you're joining me live and putting your comments in the chat and then also leaving a comment here in the uh, comment section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a couple of the comments that really struck me when I made an offhanded comment that I don't care for the comment, don't California my fill in the blank. And the reason why this is troubling to me, there's a couple of things. Number one, I find that there are people that say this as a knee jerk reaction. They're not even thinking it through. And here's where I'm coming from. I actually even wrote this as a reply to someone. So I'm going to read that to you because what I said was, well, let me back up a little bit. What some of you wrote was that people are coming to my state to change it into California. They're moving here and they're voting to turn it blue. They're moving here and they're voting exactly the same way as they did in their state. And they want to turn it right to uh, where they came from. All right. There's a couple of things here that that trouble me. Number one, you know, and I know how difficult it is to change things through voting. And I find it hard to believe that someone in California would spend all of the money, probably thousands of dollars to move across country, to take their kids out of school, to leave their job and their family and their friends and their home, to get in the car to or to fly, to an entirely new state where they have to find a new job, a new place to live, new friends, a new way of life. And you're telling me that they're moving to a place that they don't really like because it likes freedom and it is a red state and it's conservative, fill in the blank. And you're telling me that they are consciously moving to that state with their one vote, unless they're cheating, and they're going to change that state to blue. They're going to change... Florida to California. They're going to change Tennessee or Texas or Arizona, fill in the blank, to California. All right. I find this hard to believe. I'm sure that you're right. I'm sure that there might be a person here or there who says, you know what? I'm going to leave my beautiful paradise here in San Francisco, where it has uh, one of the highest rates of burglaries and thefts and crime, and it's dirty and it's homeless. And, and I love it here. I love it so much with all of these issues that I am going to move to Texas because I want to change Texas into San Francisco. Okay. 
you, that's what you're telling me. You're telling me that people are going to uproot and create an upheaval, upheaval in their lives to go to another state to destroy it. I just find that hard to believe. Somebody gave me the example of, well, you should see Austin, Texas. Well, Austin, Texas, as far as I understand, I've never been there, but I know people who have, that is a liberal bastion. And it's not like the rest of Texas, just like Portland is not like the rest of Oregon. And there are people that move to Austin because they like, I think the saying is keep Austin weird. They like the liberalism in Austin. They like that. They like whatever is going on there. So they move there on purpose. Now, somebody also said, Peggy, there may be somebody that got a job transfer or they had to leave for economic reasons. And so they moved to another state and then they vote the same way. I'm sure that is true as well. I'm absolutely positive that there are some people that move to another state because of economics, because of the weather. Somebody wrote and said, in fact, it was on the video that I did. And they said that there are a lot of, let's see, there are a lot of uh, New Yorkers, she wrote, moving to Florida. Uh, for over 50 years, New Yorkers have been coming to Florida. And you can always tell that they're New Yorkers because all they did was complain about how great things were in New York and how horrible things were in Florida. New York was always so much better. I just simply remember them saying how New York had all these free government benefits that they don't have in Florida. I'd ask them why they left New York and they'd say, well, we couldn't afford the taxes. They couldn't see the connection. All right. I agree with you. I'm certain that that does happen, that people are blind to what is going on and that they're voting the same way. I agree with you on that. What I find hard to believe is that somebody would purposely, for example, I'm going to take California because I've never heard don't New York, my Florida. I've only heard don't California, my fill in the blank, that they would leave California for the express purpose of coming to destroy where they're living. It's like, why would you do that? Why would you destroy where you want to live when you had that paradise where you came from? That's what I can't understand. So I am putting it out there that you think about it before you just have the knee jerk response. And it's not you lovely, healthy Americans. It's on other YouTube uh, videos that I've seen and people will just fill in the blank. Well, don't California my whatever. And it's like, it's such a slur to me being a Californian. And in California, we are fighting to change things. And we're living here among all of the problems and fighting to change things. So why in the world would someone who loves where they live move for the specific purpose to go? I cannot imagine a Californian, for example, moving to, let's say, Alabama and complaining about it the whole time, that they don't like the politics, they don't like the economics, they don't like the weather, they don't like the food, they don't like whatever they don't like the, in Alabama, but they're moving there to try to destroy it and make it California. You'd have to have tens of thousands, you'd have to have millions of people going to Alabama to switch it. Now, what I think is happening is it's not Californians. I think there are plenty of people in Florida that are California-ing Florida. And there are plenty of people in Alabama that are California-ing Florida. And there are plenty of people in Texas that are California-ing Texas because of the brainwashing that's going on through the media, through their pop culture stars, through uh, fill in the blank, through the, the schooling, through companies. I mean, the companies now are becoming the biggest hogwashers and brainwashers of them all. So it's not necessarily the Californians who are doing that. So I just wanted to really revisit this to let you know where I'm coming from, to let you know that I read all of your comments and I just wanted to put this on the table. And I am going to make a t-shirt that says, don't California, my California. I think that's the funniest one of all. And that is going to be, let's do this. It is over at, it, it's going to be in a couple of weeks from when I'm filming this. And we are going to go over to the healthy American store.org. Let me share that with you here. And that's where you can get your shirt and you can put your words out to the world. So Soon there will be a shirt that says, don't California, my California. And that is at the healthy American store.org. And you put in the, the, 
This is a third party site that I've partnered with. They contacted me to say, hey, we want to get your message out. So they handle all of the customer service. Any questions you have about the t-shirts, the shipping, the returns, all of that, it's all on that site. It is a way of helping me. And I want to let you all know, those of you that have been supporting me, we like to support you. So at the final Saturday of every month, we do a live Q&A webinar for those of you that have sent in a donation, for those of you that have upgraded to a paid subscription over at my Substack, or for those of you that are a paid subscriber to PeggyHall.tv. You have supported me and I want to support you. So we do about anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes where I answer your questions live. Sometimes Pastor David is on with me and we love connecting with you where there are no constraints, there is no censorship. It's not on YouTube. It is a private live webinar. If you have supported me in the way of a do donation or you are a paid subscriber to Substack or PeggyL.tv and you have not gotten your invitation, what in the non-spinning world? You need to email my assistant support at thehealthyamerican.org and she will get you all set up. These webinars are recorded so you can watch them again if you can't make it live the last Saturday of every month at 4 p.m. Pacific. So that is my way of thanking you for you supporting me. All right, friends, I'll be back with you soon with another video where we can dive in and keep our head above the waves of these stormy seas of life. See you soon, everybody.